Rhoda, a fourth year second semester student at one of the universities in Zambia. The excitement of graduating in the next few weeks was overwhelming. I made endless plans with my friends. 12 September 2016, after attending one of the last lectures before graduation, I was on my way home from school. While standing at a bus shelter waiting for a bus, an overspeeding car appeared. The driver was drunk. He drove from one lane to the other with no consideration for other road users. In a split of a second, this car was overturning headed for where I was standing. And before I could run, I was hit and thrown into the airtime booth of the bus shelter. The steel of the bus shelter was ripped from my flesh and I was carried into a police van headed for the nearest hospital. It was discovered that I sustained multiple fractures, some of which include best acetabular fracture left hip, fractured left femur shaft, fractured proximity left tibia. The impact was on the left leg. It was fractured in five different places. I could not enter theater for any procedure the very night or the day after. The hospital informed us that I could only be taken into theater after two months because they were fully booked. The only thing they did was bandage me. After bleeding continuously for 48 hours, I was taken to another hospital. My blood levels had reduced from 16 to 3.4. I could not be carried to be put on a stretcher so I could enter theater properly because with each attempt made to lift me, my flesh would literally fall off. After a day of getting to the new hospital, I was taken into theater for open reduction and internal fixations. This is a procedure where the broken bones are reduced and put back into position and internal fixation devices are placed on them. A kernel was placed on the femur bone and the plate and screws were placed on the tibia bone. Despite the intensity of these fractures, the amazing wonder God wrapped me in his arms and stepped in. After the operations were done, the doctors came into the ward for a ward round, and as usual the bed was surrounded by the surgeons, as my uncle famously called them. There was a shocking expression on the doctor's face the moment he set his eyes on me. Silently I wondered why, but after the short conversation we had, I understood. He looked at me and asked, you are sitting? I responded and said yes. He then asked, how? Oblivious of why he was asking, I answered and said, I was tired of lying down, so I thought of sitting. Unknown to me, my file recorded that my pelvis was displaced and I had been booked for an operation in theater the following day where a cap was to be placed on the pelvis because every movement I made increased the fracture. He then turned to the other doctors and said, cancel tomorrow's operation because if she can sit, it means the pelvis is getting back to position. We make a miracle walk and promise keep a light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yeah. We make a miracle walk and promise keep a light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. A few weeks later, I needed to learn how to rightly sit and make movements with the Zimmer frame. I was discharged from hospital while using the Zimmer frame to make movements. In January 2017, I went back to the university to inquire of my studies. Prior to the accident, I had two months to completion of my Bachelor of Law degree program, but because I was hospitalized the entire exam period and beyond, I could not write the final exams. This therefore meant that I had to retake the last semester. The university advised that I resume school the following year because the university is a three-story building with no lift. There was no way I was going to cope. By then, I was on crutches, but I insisted and registered as a long-distance student. While continuing with physiotherapy, 
and because God has no history of failure, before the final exams, I moved from two crutches to one. I sat for exams, and to his glory passed all my courses. A few months later, I graduated. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yeah. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Before graduation, I went to the hospital for review. The x-rays reviewed that the bone on the pelvis was protruding and because the internal fixation that was fixed had migrated, it was impossible for that bone to return to position. The pink arrow is showing the displaced bone. The green one shows the canal that migrated from its normal position, which are the blue lines. Clearly by this migration, it was impossible for the displaced bone to return back to position. I needed to be evaluated. But by the time I had resumed school and was only remaining with three months to exams, the doctor told me that the procedure to correct the pelvis will be done after exams, but I must return with a new set of x-rays. After three months, I went back for a new set of x-rays and this is what was found. The protruding bone went back miraculously. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yeah. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. A few weeks later, I fell ill. The wound on the tibia bone opened, exposing both the plate and the bone. Tests were done, and it was discovered that the plate had become infected and had to be removed. I was then booked for an early plate removal procedure in theatre. I was in that operation under local anesthesia, and because I was awake, I was able to hear what the doctors were saying. After exposing the plate, it was discovered that the bone on the tibia was infected also and had died and had changed color and the color change was spreading a dead bone is as good as losing a limb but before procedure could go down that route the dead bone had to be scrapped off first a few minutes later i heard doctor scream he said wow god is good he has already grown a newborn while i was trying to peep through the obstruction that was placed before me doctor tapped me and said relax I'll come and tell you what has happened. He then walked up to me and said, When they scrapped off the dead bone, they found that a newborn had grown, and the newborn has no fracture, it has no crack. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yeah. We make a Miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And because of the presence of that newborn, there was no way a further procedure could be performed on me. They cleaned me, bandaged, and sent me back to the ward. Two weeks ago, I got a new set of x-rays from the places that were fractured. That is the femur bone, it is completely healed. Is as though there was no fracture. This is the tibia bone. This is where the bone was scrapped off. New bones have continued to grow, still with no medical explanation, because I'm over 21 and it has not been long since the accident, but bones have continued to grow. I return all glory to God for His grace, His faithfulness, and for every amazing wonder He brought my way. We make a miracle walk, a promise keeper, light in the darkness, that is who you are. Yeah. We make a miracle walk.